1170, The Answer, KCBQ. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty. And we've worn him out, Mr. Jason Hall with Team Home Loans. We have let him fire off all of his shots. And we can actually turn the attention over to somebody else now, now that you've got your rant out of the way. Yes, we've sir. got Miss Sarah Wood with Allegiance Heating and Air in studio. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So Thursday, tomorrow, I think. Yes, sir. We yep. switch over. Summer is over, guys. Like, this is our last full day of summer. Did you know that? Yeah. So it's usually what? Like the 19th, 20th, 20, 21st? Depending Something on... like that. I believe today Time is the changed. last Which science full... book we read. Time doesn't change till November till this November. year. Yeah. But the season officially changes this week. Mm. So we're headed into the fall season. You do HVAC. That's correct. This was a crazy, crazy hot summer. Um, it happens Most every I can year. I ever remember. You it remember was weird because we had like. All, Sarah? This is it. It was like a brutal July, super hot. And then we had like a really nice August. And then right at the tail end of August, going to September, you had the 100 plus degree week. It was crazy. Um, so you guys have obviously been super busy with the air conditioning side right. of things, but we're starting to make that transition. It's cooling off. There's some moisture in the air. We're headed into the fall. Like, what do people need to know when it comes to their HVAC system? And if you don't know what HVAC stands for, it is heating, cooling, <laughs> ventilation. <laughs> You're like, what? She's like, I wasn't right for that. You're like, question. dang it, I didn't know. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Get a little nervous um, on the radio. Yeah, we got you. Um, so. What do people need to know as, as the seasons start to change? You know, I, people never know what they need to do as far as maintenance goes, right. all that kind of stuff. So lay it out there for us. Well, people tend to forget during the summer that we actually do have somewhat of a winter. Um, which, the first thing you probably want to do is if you have a pro- pro- programmable thermostat is turn that off because people will leave it on and they'll keep their house cool and there's no reason to do that all day every day anymore. So that's probably one of the first things you want to do. Another thing is make sure your walls are insulated so when you do finally run the heat this this winter, not all the hair, the heat is escaping the house. Yeah, you don't want to like help the bunnies and the squirrels outside. Right, right, right. right. Okay. <laughs> um, and you want to have, have us come out and, and do a system check and a tune-up on your home. How often should somebody have a tune-up done on their system? I would say a tune-up twice a year, once before summer and once before the winter. And then the other two times a year, we'll just come out and change the filters. So okay. four times a year, you should be changing your filters. Two times a year, you should well, be doing a pre- an actual year prevention. On filters? One to th- yeah, one to th- every three months, depending on how much you run it. Wow. Okay, yeah. I need you back out. So you installed <laughs> my AC. So she put in a brand new AC unit Correct. in my house a couple years ago, and I'm guessing I've not had her back out since. So no, you probably I remind have, you all the time too. I'm sure you yeah. probably yeah. have two year old filters. <laughs> yeah. So you got to remind the boss. Correct. You your know, wife. My wife. Yeah, it's true. And so let's let's make Dean, sure. I mean, Dean Spanos' boss. Oh man. Oh man. Dean's glad I'm not in, involved in his family. Boy, I'd lay into him. <laughs> <laughs> so right now is a good time coming in October, November, is to have us come out and actually do a furnace tune-up. It is off-season pricing. Get us out there. We'll come out. We'll check the heat exchanger, make sure it's not cracked. We will vacuum and clean the furnace, change the filter, inspect the electrical points, make sure it's safe for you to run this uh, winter. And what type of special do you have for our listeners today? The value of $189 on the on the on season so if you actually have us come in the winter it's 189 in october and november it's actually 99. so we've got a special 99 bucks mm-hmm. you get it serviced from a local provider you're 100 percent owner of the business correct you took it over from your dad when your dad passed away and you were a san diego resident born and raised here in san diego and you know that's important to mr hall and that's why i endorse you that's why i love you Thank sarah you. I appreciate that and that's why i try to refer all of my hvac clients nobody's better than sarah there's other companies out there but there's not many that are owned and operated in san diego for as many years and woman owned and operated thanks and i have a i have a good crew backing me up right now yeah you got and you got a great staff thank you so thank you thank you for all you do and let's make sure we get my wife set we got to get those I'll send filters her done something babe. in the mail yeah <laughs> i'll give her a call yeah, she, the mail we don't get so we're gonna have to text her we'll okay, text her we'll after text the show and call yeah cool They've evolved in the Hall House. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was but, all like but typewriters and all that fun stuff. There. Well, you know what? We still have the old thermostat. So when we redid well, everything, you might want to do we did winter. old thermostats, which are a surprise. Our house is really only three years old. As you know, Kyle, we ripped everything down, redid it. And unfortunately, our electrical guy kind of went with you know the basic stuff. But when we had you on the show last time, you were talking about what's the cool 
thermostats I think that you Kyle, can. Kyle, like the, the Echo B, right? Yeah. And I'm, the Nest. I'm Let's talk about that. that. Yeah, yeah. So, in my personal opinion, the Nest is a stupid thermostat. It was the first smart thermostat, but it hasn't really evolved a whole lot over the years. Um, it was the first to the market that you could control over Wi Fi. It somewhat learns your temperatures, you know, where you like to have it at. But outside of that, it doesn't really do anything smart. Um, so what's a smart thermostat, Sarah? What do I need to know? The, well, there's a couple different ones. You can go with a, just a Wi-Fi, and you can control that from your phone. So if you want to have it at the furnace off all day and it's cold, you can actually turn it off on from your phone. And if I'm coming home at 5 o'clock and my house faces the west because I'm on Mount Helix and I want my house cool, I can kick it on like at 445. So when I hit the door at 515... It's sure. now nice and cool, right? Things yep. like that? Yeah. That's why yep. it's smart. Okay, I need that. And then I think Babo, you, we're you have the that. Echo B in your home? Yeah. So with that system, what we love about it is the thermostat in our house is on the east side of the house. And the west side of the house in the afternoon is blazing hot. Right. The problem the is the thermostat's too, yeah. on mm -hmm. the east side of the house. So you it kind of gets screwed up because the thermostat is one temperature, but the room I'm actually sitting in is a completely different temperature. So the Echo B has little sensors that you can put in each room of your house and they're so smart that they sense when is there, there movement yeah. in that room and so let's say cool. two of the rooms in your house have movement in them it, and you have it set at 76 degrees it's going to average out the temperature only in those two rooms wow. and set it to go to 76 yeah, degrees there's rooms we don't even go into yeah i don't need the and AC. who cares what the temperature is off, in those but, rooms and most of the yeah. time your thermostats in your hallway like I don't know about you, but I don't hang out in my hallway a whole lot. Yeah, you just walk, be, you know, walk, walk down the hallway there, for yeah. a few seconds. So, like, why do I care what the temperature is in my hallway? I want the temperature. In why do they do that, sir? Why do these builders put the stuff in there? <laughs> Any idea? Uh, easy access. Easy That's access. Right. Huh? They, they put it in the middle of the house. Yeah, it's it's to register. Yeah, exactly. The middle of the home, and it's to get the average temperature of the home. But if you're not there and you're just in your bedroom, the Echo B will sensor you in there, and uh, like you were saying, take the average of the the room that you're in. All right. What other H fact knowledge do you have to drop on us Terry? What do you want to hear? You tell me. You got all kinds of highlights over there. I'm looking down at this list. I can't even read. And I got my glasses <laughs> on. I can't read anymore. Well, the other cool thing that you can do, um, there's the mini splits also, which is also individual heating and air conditioning units for each room. So it's not, you can actually have central mini splits, but those so what's are, a mini split? So if you have like a room addition or mm -hmm. your master bedroom you feel isn't getting the airflow that it needs because maybe it's upstairs and it's a big suite, you can actually throw your the own its own unit up there and it's controlled. You just control that one unit and only cool down that one room at a time. All right. So I you're not cooling too. down. You want that too? <laughs> no, I do because we did this. We redid the whole house. Right. And we still have room additions to do, but Mr. Hall's tight and I like to build up a big cash reserve before I go drop another hundred mm -hmm. grand to redo my house. And so I've been in three years, and I had to get one of those portable Home Depot ACs that my electricity bill goes up like a hundred bucks. Yeah, those cost a lot of money. Because they do not save you do, money. My master bedroom does not have the AC because it's going to have its own AC unit the moment we add on the rest of the house. But I can't wait any longer. Right. So what does something like that run me? A uh, couple thousand, but it's going to save you money in the long run. Oh no, yeah, it's well worth it. Yeah. I mean, my electricity bill, those little portable units, hundred bucks a are month. Over hundred bucks a month. That's twelve hundred a year. And just... I think it's more than hundred bucks. Right. I mean, it's crazy. Have you seen these portable units, Kyle? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they work, but the electricity they draw, it doesn't make sense. That's and the right. giant tube you've got to have coming out the back yep. up to your window. Yeah, it's exactly what I've got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my wife said, "Oh, this is gonna be temporary, right, honey? You're gonna like save that money you promised me." And I'm like, "I'm trying, honey. I'm working hard." But I don't like to, even though I'm a loan guy, I don't like to borrow against the house. Equity, right? Try to buy in cash. I love you again. You're listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170. The answer, we're talking with Sarah Wood, Allegiance Heating and Air. If you've got HVAC questions, you need a tune-up on your system or just need a new system installed, we'd love to get you connected with her. 619-663-CELL, 619-663-7355. And Sarah, you are also part of the Santee Young Professionals. So tell That's us right. a little bit about that. Well, it is a, a young entrepreneurs group that uh, the chamber, the city of Santee, that chamber asked me to start with um, you, Kyle, and a few other young business owners out in East County. And uh, we get together every other month to do a lunch and learn, which Kyle and Brian just hosted. It was fabulous on social media. Uh, that was a great turnout. And that was out at the... Off Broadway, Off Broadway Live. Live. And that's yeah. a great venue. And then the, every other month, we also do a business mixer after five where we all get together. And I think this year we're trying to hit up all the local breweries in Santee. 
and next year we'll expand to East County. So if you're a young professional, not you. CNT, I know, no. I, I know <laughs> it's not me. I know it's not me. It's okay, right? I'm, the guys I'm in totally the 50s, teasing. I know you guys take anybody. Well, you, you guys have older people than me, I know. But if somebody's interested, right. how should they reach out to you guys to get involved in the CNT YPN, Young Professional Network YPN? SYP, CNT Young Professionals. It's uh, I'd reach out to the chamber, the city of CNT, Kristen. Yeah, okay. so you can go on the chamber's website or there's a Facebook page for SYP as well. And tell them you heard it her through Kyle Whistle and Sarah Roder Wood. Yes, right? that, that that's fine. That'll work. Everybody knows who you are, right? So your maiden name was Rodder. Yes. You married Mr. Wood. Yes, that's Dave correct. Wood. That's and so correct. now it's Sarah Wood, Wood. but you kind of go by Rodder sometimes. sometimes. And so now we tease yeah. you a little it bit was, about that. It was an easy transition when I took over my dad's business to keep Rodder. So. Right. Because every knew because your dad's last name was Rodder. Correct. So Got it. Wood Rodder just flows, though. You don't like rotten wood? Wood Rodder. <laughs> You're, you are the Wood Rodder. I love it. So I'll take wh that. what's the next event you guys have coming up? Gosh, what do we have coming up? That would be, um, that's not OTL, right? It is OTL. Hmm. Yeah. But you take it away on that one, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, if you, what, so OTL, so like the three man, bo o women, boys, co ed, what do you guys got? Yeah. So we've got OTL coming up. It's the second annual OTL out in Santee. Um, and it's really made for all ages. So there's going to be a group for youth, there'll be a group for novice a group for advanced and then also a group for women as well where do you guys host that at what's so it'll the be youth a, um ages do we have that i think under 18. i don't remember the ages I don't think it's kids. um but it's coming up october 22nd it'll be out at town center community park in santee same place they do the concerts at the park uh, but it should be fun we'll probably have 50 or 100 teams out there playing there'll be a beer garden with a lot of the local beer vendors out there there'll be food trucks um, so it should be a really good time so are you hitting up my daughter again getting her since she's a nationally ranked otl player now she's nationally ranked, oh, nationally ranked. Huh? Really? ranked. yeah oh, she's wow. literally nationally ranked. so she played a, with a brand new team this year in on back and they literally took like third place in the on back of the of the top you know the open division that's so, awesome. And two brand new players, they never the three of them never played together. They take third in on back. So did my um ten year old daughter. Ooh. <laughs> Second though. We both have they're crazy. Oh. We both have softball. Yeah. We have what softball studettes. <laughs> no, we definitely got softball studettes, both of us. Mine's just like sixteen years older than yours. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, if you want to get connected with Sarah Allegiance heating and air or you want some info on upcoming santee young professional events give us a call shoot us a text 619-663-SELL 619-663-7355 when we get back from the break we're going to talk to another santee young professional garrett campbell thrivent financial you're listening to whistle wednesdays am 1170 the answer am 11